Hi everybody, welcome back to this STM32F1 hand-on an example on the delay library. The code that we are going to use within this tutorial is inspired from the STM32F1 tutorial where we used to create the delay function from scratch. So if you're interested to see more details about this library, you can find the link in the description. As usual, the code that we are going to share within this tutorial is available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. Also, the language that we are going to use is C. The program that is used also is called Kale, and this is the program that we are going to use for pro programming, um, building, and loading the code. So, for the hardware, as usual, the STM32F1 and the board is the blue pill, and for the small one for the circuit, we are going to use a 220 ohm capacitor, one LED, and two push buttons. So let's quickly take a look on the testing example circuit. So we do have the STM32F1 in the blue pill, and then we are going to use two libraries, the, the GP drive and the cystic time. And the cystic time is the one that we'll um, take, uh, we'll, we'll use to, to get the um, delay function. So our circuit is connected to uh, the, uh, from the port A pin zero to the resistor and the LED. And we are, we are setting up the uh, port A pin 0 as a digital output. Then we are connecting the port A pin 10 of the circuit to uh, um, a switch. And this one is connected to 3.3 volt. And also the pin, our port A pin 10 is a digital input as it needs to read the signal. Finally, we are connecting the port A pin 9 to, um, to another switch. And this one is connected to 3.3 volt. And the pin port A pin 9 is set up as a digital input. So the idea is when we push the pin uh, port A pin 10, the, um, the um, LED will be toggling. And the more we push the port A pin 10, the, the, the toggle of the LED will go slower. How, when, but when we will uh, push the port A pin 9, the, um, the LED will toggle uh, much faster. Okay, so now we went through a quick explanation of the circuit. Let's take a look at the code. Before jumping to the code, if you enjoy this content and like to stay tuned, just subscribe. Okay, let's take a quick look on the circuit that we do have here. So let me make, make this one bigger. So as usual, this is our STM32F1 and we do have the A0 connected to, um, a, to the a LED, which will be toggled when we will upload the code. And then we do have this two push button. This one will accelerate, will actually slow down the toggling speed where this one will be accelerating it. Okay, so you can see it's a very simple code and simple this, uh, circuit. So we can now quick have a quick look to the code. So we are going to use the GP drive library and also the cystic time. The cystic time library is a library that we are going to use to, to get the delay function. And we are going to connect, as said before, the PA0 as a digital output. PA10 and PA9 uh, will be a digital input. We are going to use an unsigned integer i, which will be used to accelerate or deaccelerate or slow down, sorry, the, um, the uh, toggling speed. As before going to the main loop, as initialization phase, we have to do go through the init function. We always must initialize this init function to prepare and using the delay. Then we are going to set up um, the port A9, uh, 10, 9 and 0 for our example where both of them are input and one as output. So let's go quickly then to the main code. So we do have here, so if the um, button is pushed for PA10, then we will wait for 50 milliseconds so we don't have a really quick incrementation and I will be going plus plus so will be increased. Else if we signal we find that PA9 is pushed so it's 1 and then I if I is strictly strong, um, bigger than 0 then it will go minus uh, 1 each time and we're putting this condition because just to avoid that to have I minus than 0 and then so this is just the part where we are incrementing or decrementing our i after that we have our main um, delay function where we put as um as uh, i say as a main here 
100 millisecond and here we do have i multiplied by 100 and the delay ms is a millisecond delay so if we put here 100 and i is 0 it will be 100 millisecond then we are discovering a new function, a toggle GP, which is toggling the pin, the port of a certain pin. So it's like this, so port name and pin number. So here we are toggling the port A, pin 0, and each time we go through the loop, we will toggle this pin. Okay, so let's take a quick look on this one. So first of all, let's build. Okay, zero error, zero warning. Let's load. And we should see yeah, our uh, pin toggling. So if I push this bottom, which is connected to the PA10, you can see it starts slowing down. The more I push, the more slow it is. But if I push back this bottom, and you will see slowly the LED toggling speed will increase. So you see now how quickly we can develop with this function and we could have a certain speed for the toggling. I hope you enjoyed this small uh, tutorial. Thank you a lot and stay tuned.